There are few mid-card superstars who define the Attitude Era more than Val Venus. While big name talents like Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, and Triple H occupied the main events, it was wrestlers like Venus who truly pushed boundaries during the WWF's foray into more violent, adult, and sexualized storylines during the late 90s. Venus was not wrestling's first Lotharia, but his adult film star character was certainly its most outrageous and R-rated. That's what makes the big Valboski a mid-card superstar. Val Venus began his wrestling career on the Canadian Indies after being trained by the legendary missing link, Dewey Robertson. He continued to cut his chops working in Mexico and in Japan before jumping ship to the WWF. Val made his WWF debut in 98 at the peak of wrestling popularity. Like many wrestlers before him, Venus was given a set of vignettes leading up to his debut to build hype for his new character. Playing up Venus as a former adult film star garnered instant attention and considerable anticipation. WWF even used real-life adult film star Jenna Jameson in the last of these raunchy promos. Ahead of his first match on Raw against Scorpio, Val strutted to the ring in his trademark towel, grabbed the mic, and cut his now iconic pre-match promo, beginning with the line, Hello, ladies. The match instantly put Venus over with the fans as he finished off Scorpio with a splash from the top rope he called the money shot. The first significant angle for the man they called the Big Valboski, involving Japanese stable Kai and Tai, was arguably also his most memorable. The feud revolved around Venus having an affair with manager Yamaguchi-san's wife, Xiang Li Sung. After a number of matches with members of the group and a heel turn by Taka Michinoku, Kai and Tai cut a promo on Val threatening to castrate him with a samurai sword. Kai and Tai eventually got a hold of Val and dragged him to the locker room. In one of the more foolish moments of the Attitude Era, one episode of Raw actually ended with Val being tied up, his tights pulled down, and yamaguchi son raising a sword to take a slice. Venus went on to feud with a number of other mid-card talents over the next year, rehashing similar storylines with Goldust and his wife Terry Reynolds, and Ken Shamrock and his sister Ryan. During his feud with Shamrock, Val captured his first singles title, the Intercontinental Belt, but only held onto the title for a month before dropping it to Road Dog on an episode of Monday Night Raw. Val also did capture the European title, but never quite reached main event stature, arguably because his gimmick pigeonholed him into a corner. The adult film star angle created plenty of buzz leading up to his debut, but was too preposterous and hollow to feature at the top of a card. In the early 2000s, Venus flipped the script and joined the right to censor as a Puritan heel, but the gimmick didn't have the lasting impact of the original Venus character. By early 2002, he'd gone back to his old gimmick, and later that year began wrestling under his real name, Sean Morley, ultimately hanging on in the WWF through 2009 with a run of less memorable singles and tag team storylines. He spent the next 10 years working sporadically on the indies, eventually retiring in 2019. The Attitude Era was a high point for popularity in the wrestling world. And intense hardcore matches, adult themes, and sexual content were a central part of the WWE's success. Val Venus will forever be synonymous with these times, and he's a character who will never be replicated again. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.